Hey, what's up guys? Dusty here, bringing you a commentary on Outpost. This is a regular Kill Confirmed game. I'm using the ACR with the silencer this time, and I will be using the specialist package again. I was going for a Moab this game. Do not get one, although I go on a pretty good streak. And this is a pretty fun gameplay overall. I t get 40 kills, I think, and that's without any kill streaks. So, you know, it's a fairly exciting game, especially for Outpost, which is has a campy reputation, I guess you could say. For this gameplay, I wanted to talk a little bit about the blue perks, as well as some of the gameplay. There's a pretty some pretty cool moments in this gameplay. I think you'll enjoy them. And thank you again for watching. Hope your new year is going great. Anyway, like I said, I wanted to talk a little bit about the blue perks today. Uh, what ones I use, what ones I don't, what I think of them. And, you know, just start a little bit of a discussion. Anyway first blue perk I wanted to talk about, we have Blind Eye. Now my thoughts on Blind Eye are this, um, it has a really bad reputation, mostly because people associate this perk with, you know, campers, people that just sit in corners, and they have it on so that your kill streaks can never see them, they can never get to them, and they can just chill in their little corner forever. And I understand that, but the perk does have some uses, even for, you know, someone that's not a camper. Like me, I, I have used it before, I don't use it extensively, not at all. But I have used it before because when you're rushing, if you're going up against um, a party or something like that, if you're going up against a full party and you're just in a public match, a team that's just, you, you know they're going to get their kill streaks, they're going to get their predators, they're going to get their AC-130s, it can be a useful perk, especially for a rusher like me. Um, just so that you can run around without fear of these kill streaks, or you can run around and just shoot them down very fast without fear of being hit by them. That said, I don't use it all that often. I don't even have it on any of my classes currently, just because overall as a whole, I think that it's fairly easy to shoot down kill streaks in this game, even with any other perk, even if they can see you. You know, you die once, you spawn, and you have that five seconds of safety, which I really don't personally like for this game, but it is there. You have that five seconds of safety after you spawn where you can just, you know, with sleight of hand, get your stingers off, and most kill streaks will be done after that. So, overall, I guess I would say Blind Eye is mm, average. It has its uses, but overall, it's not too practical for most games. And right here, I go on a little bit of a streak. Sorry to, you know, change the subject so fast. But right here is actually one of the areas that, you know, I really like from this gameplay. I get those two kills, but instead of going straight for the tags, I know that more enemies are going to come, and that's the very center of the map. So I go around, take a little bit of a different route, a little different angle, and I'm able to pick up three more kills. Now, right here is one of the reasons I uploaded this gameplay. This part is just awesome. I turn around with my aim, look at the window, I see four guys. I'm just like, screw that. I just talk, chuck a grenade, you know, I know it's not going to hit him, and I run back here. And I'm just kind of chilling out, seeing if anyone's going to spawn back here for a second when... What? A multi-kill with a barrel? You have got to be kidding me. We are going to look at this in an instant replay. This one is under review, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, we are going to go back into the mountain here using theater mode. I want to see what happened here, because this is just insane. So we got this guy chilling out. I don't know what he was doing, probably making cookies. So he goes, one's over here. Hey, guys, got some cookies. Whoa, cookies, cookies. What's going on? Hey, someone say cookies. Whoa! All dead. Only three tags. I don't know what was up with that. Either way, <laughs> that was awesome. And I guess after review, the ruling on the field will have to stand. It was a multi-kill. That was amazing. But, now the gameplay gets a little more boring. <laughs> Even though I am on a pretty nice streak right now. So, back to the blue perks, because I want to get through these. So, the next perk I wanted to talk about was Sleight of Hand. And this is my, like many others, um, it's my favorite perk, in, well, favorite blue perk in the game. I just, you know, I'm so used to it now, I almost need it. I have it on almost all my classes, at almost all times. I think it's just a huge help, especially for a rusher like me, to, you know, have that reload that can get done in less than a second. And so many times without it, I just get caught reloading because, you know, I'm usually, like, camped out in the enemy spawn or just running around the enemy spawn that I just do not have time for a full reload. And I know a lot of people um, are of the opinion that, you know, oh, you can just hide out, find a spot to reload, you know, don't reload after every kill. And, you know, that's all good and fine, but... I'm not that disciplined, and, you know, sometimes you just have to have a quick reload in order to succeed. And Sleight of Hand Pro, once you have the ability to switch weapons out fast and get to, like, an, an Akimbo FMG or, you know, something like that when you really need it, that is a huge help as well. 
So just overall, I think it's a great perk, you know, a perfect perk to use at all times. It's a great all-around perk. And if you're someone that, that doesn't like to use it, if you're someone that's of the opinion of, you know, you can easily find a hiding spot, you know, um, reloading isn't that bad, you know, that's fine, all the power to you. But I am just not that disciplined, not that good at the game. So, what's next? Recon. Recon is an interesting perk. Personally, I'll be completely honest, I have never really used this outside of when I get it with the specialist bonus. And that, the only reason that is, is because I just don't think the main perk of it is that good or that useful. You know, I don't really damage people that often with explosives, and, I mean, the only explosives I ever, I ever really use are grenades and semtex, and you only get one of those per life, even with scavenger. Well, if you have scavenger, you're not really... Anyway. <laughs> you only get one per life, so even if I damage someone and, you know, I can see them on the radar, that's all good and fine, but it's not that hard to predict where guys are going to be, like, in terms of the radar anyway. And I just don't think that one explosive, you know, painting the target is going to be all that useful. At least not more useful than sleight of hand is. Now the pro version of it, which I think um, lets you see everyone on the radar just by damaging them, even with bullets, that is pretty useful. I mean, if I had it pro all the time, I would probably use it a little bit. But as it is, I just, you know, I don't have the patience to just use the regular perk to get it pro. And, you know, I could be wrong on that. If you're someone that uses Recon and really likes it, and, you know, you have some uses for it that I'm not seeing, you know, feel free to leave a comment and let me know. Um, now how about Extreme Conditioning? This perk is... I don't know, it's pretty useful, but I just wish they would have kept it in where the Pro version lets you sprint infinitely. I think that, be that not being in the game kind of ruins it. I think one of the reasons that I used it a lot in Modern Warfare 2, well, back then it was Marathon, Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops is because of that. Sprinting infinitely was perfect for rushing, perfect for flanking, all of that. And I used to use that a lot. But now that you can't do it infinitely, like, by the time you use it all up, use up all your sprint, it's basically no better than... else, really. You're just a regular guy. And this video went by pretty fast. We're almost at the end, so I'll, you know... This is a nice um, way to end the game, by the way. Anyway, the last perk I wanted to talk about was Scavenger. Um, it's a good perk, but in this game, lives usually don't last that long, so it's really not practical to use anything other than Specialist. When you're being a Specialist, you do kind of need it, so I like it in that sense. But if I'm just running a regular assault and I'm rushing all over the map, my lives usually aren't long enough to where I'm going to need, you know, a whole, like, another hundred bullets or whatever. So that's really my thoughts. The video went by a little quick for my taste. Didn't really get to share my full thoughts. But hey, you know, if you're watching this video and you have an opinion, you know, leave a comment on what you think is the best blue perk, what ones you use. Final score was 40 and 8, and which was a pretty nice game for a specialist. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you later.